Yeah. So, tell me a little bit about the last lesson then. Uh, so we were doing more crossroads and more roundabouts again. Um, we we're also working on like changing lanes and stuff. And then we also managed to get onto the dual carriageway, A52 and stuff like that. Did you do much of that sort of stuff or? Um, I hadn't done until then, but then we did quite a bit towards the end. Okay. But it, I don't know, I, th I thought it went a lot better than I thought it would. Brilliant. Let's start with the, you, you talked about crossroads. How are you feeling about your crossroads, priorities and all that lot? Yeah, good. Yeah. I think I pretty much know all the priorities. Good stuff. I think you demonstrated it last lesson as well, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. So if we come up some, then you'll know what to do. Do you want to look yeah. at any sort of specifically today or do you want to set, focus your attention on two other things? What would you, what do you think? Um, you want to set out to uh, where do you want to be at the end really I'd say I'm pretty much comfortable with crossroads okay and I think the same with most roundabouts so yeah I think I'm quite confident with those so we could focus on other things today all right good and so lane changing yep <clears throat> how are you getting on with that am I still helping you are you doing it by yourself I think Last lesson I did it a couple of times on my own on the carriageway and it just it was alright. Sounds good. It just makes sense, you know. From the instruction that you told me before, it just kinda of made sense and I just did it. Right, okay. Do you reckon your bell would you wanna carry on with where you left off with that today then or do you want me to help you? Yeah, we can carry on I guess. Yeah. Okay. Slip roads. We covered we talked about the slip roads, didn't we, after we'd done a bit of We we did, yeah. Um so just just remind me again what's the idea for a slip road at entering so it's designed for you to get your speed up so you can enter the motorway at the right speed the carriageway at the right speed yeah um it joins onto the motorway so in theory you don't have priority but people should really move over for you otherwise it stops the flow of traffic yeah okay and getting the signal on early is key for that isn't it like yeah. you said to yeah. alert them it's not because we're going to go anywhere else, we're not, are we? No. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Cool but, yeah. Across all the lanes. Yeah. yeah. So, to exit then, what's the idea of that then? What? So, an exit road. It's, it's basically the opposite of a slip road, it's to like slow yourself down, and then normally at the end of that, there's a junction or a roundabout. Okay. Awesome. Right. Um, <clears throat> What's general rules for these lanes? So I know that you know what lane to be in and when. So, on just a regular dual carriageway, the first lane, so the left hand lane, is for, it's just for regular speed traffic. And the right hand lane, second lane, is for overtaking that. Okay. Um, lorries and buses, stuff like that, will be restricted to the first lane. Whereas cars and other things like that aren't so they can overtake lorries if there's an obstruction in the middle lane then you can overtake using the third lane if there is one okay brilliant and so when you finish what would you do when you finished overtaking from the right if you say, say you're in the right hand lane there's three lanes for yeah, example pull back in so you'd be in the middle then yeah and if there's a big gap on the left what would you do then you could pull back into the left yeah good stuff and that's what keeps traffic moving nicely and yeah doesn't allow congestion to start to accumulate uh, right I think oh just one more thing how do you know the white sign with the black line through what's that again national speed limit. circle yeah so if we're on a dual carriageway what's our speed limit uh, 70 good and a single carriageway is it still 70 or is it 60 60 60 yeah 60 in a car so how do we know that it's a dual and not a single then? So a dual carriageway has like a divider in the middle, so a barrier or a fence or something. Okay. Just a regular carriageway would just have like a line of paint on the floor. Right, okay. So does it mean that you've got to have two lanes or anything like that for this dual carriageway? No. No. It can be as many lanes. As long as there's something divided and then it'll be a dual carriageway. Fantastic. With that said then, should we? carry on where we've left off with the carriageways yeah coming in coming on coming off yeah we can do that doing some overtaking yeah do you want to get a bit of more mileage done with that 
a bit more experience. I think so, yeah. I think that helped me. Because although we did it and I felt confident, I've only touched on it really. Yeah. So it might be good to get yeah. a bit more. It's going to lead us to different roundabouts in that as well, you know. Yeah. Potentially. So we could do some bigger spiral roundabouts with that, just following on if you want. Yeah. Things like that. So, uh, yeah, what do you want me to help you with with that? Um, I think a little bit of instruction just to start. Okay. And then we'll see how it goes. So I think the big thing as well is when I make it in, just when to break. Because yeah. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to come up to a junction or a turn off too quick. Okay. That's my only worry. Yeah, because sometimes they bend really sharply, don't they, before they, do, they get yeah. to like you said, the junction or the roundabout at the end of it. So, yeah, I'll certainly help you out with that. Okay. I don't want to be too quick either. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so if you want to get yourself set up, and we'll make a move. <clears throat> any any issues last lesson that we could keep around today? Any, um, any little niggles or anything? Or It was just, again, with the accelerator thing. We were at, I think it was last lesson. Yeah, it would have been. We were at that controlled, those controlled lights. And I was turning and that bush was coming. And I think I just needed to, because you said it was the right decision, I just needed to do it a bit quicker. Okay. So just, I think I just needed to, if I had more accelerate, then it would have been okay. Because I think I was off the clutch just the right amount, just didn't quite have enough gas on. All right, yeah. Keep, yeah, I mean, if get into that second gear earlier as well. Yeah. Like you say, you'll get there if you've got more gas. So, yeah, if there's any judge, judgment calls today that you're unsure of, or I pick up and you haven't mentioned, yeah. shall I just jump in and say, right, we need to do this? Yeah, that might help. Yeah, and highlight it to you as it's playing out sort of thing, or maybe before if... Yeah, I think... We can discuss it before it even happens. Yeah, it depends what it is. Yeah. If it's something that's going to be dangerous, then just before. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mirrors have changed. Are they a bit different to usual? Yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Okay. So, what made you move that seat forward a click then? Then, I just think I was a bit too far away. Yeah. So, I tried it. Try it on with the clutch, and I think that's just perfect. It looks perfect, actually. Yeah. If you do move your seat at all, what could that do to your mirrors after you've set them? Could affect the mirrors. Could do. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't if it's only one notch. Yeah. But it's just something to think about. They're still all right, Chris. Yeah, they're still okay. Cool. All right, then. we'll drive on when you're ready. Turning left at the first exit. Cool. First road on the left. Sorry. Yeah. Good stuff. Got the driveway this time.
here, just here on this road, this is the road.
looks crap. And sometimes it's um, people start doing that just by default on the driving lessons. I try my best to quite quickly get stamp that out because yeah. it's a really bad one. First gear, I'm gonna come off the pedals there. You got the clutch? Yeah. Take there. Yeah, you're in full control now, Chris. Second exit? Yeah, on the roundabout ahead. That's it for Derby A52. Okay. Middle there. Be 
it is here, yeah, middle yeah. lane here, and it turns into the left, it spirals, you could say. Well done, yeah. A bit too much gas, weren't it, though? Nice one. So what did the white car do, then? Cool, that's my name. Got it wrong, didn't it? So that's somebody who hadn't looked at lanes before he'd entered. If you'd have hammered it forward with him, you could have been in his blind spot, he could have closed in on us there, been quite dodgy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sometimes, um, good to signal off these spiral roundabouts. Could you give it a left signal? So there could, sometimes there's an exit, an entry there where cars need to know. Yeah. Right, now what I do here, this is a really interesting scenario. We ain't going to be going anywhere on that carriage, are we? Because everything's backing up. Look. So if we just ease off, let this white one pass as well, let's create a bit of space. Let's create a runway here. Yeah. Okay. And nothing behind us would do a great, so I'm no panic, no, just ease off. Otherwise, we can only go in at the same speed as these guys, which is ridiculous. It's 28 mile an hour. Yeah. That's my 70 year old. And just keep staying off. Still clear behind, Chris. Yeah. Pop your right signal on. Check your mirror. Now you look at how room on that road is. Foot down. Don't rush to get on. Build up the speed first. Okay. <coughs> I think it's dangerous when cars are overtaking that right hand lane of vehicles. Yeah. And everything and everything's congested. So into, so just take your time with that. I'm gonna help you with the next couple of those, alright? Yeah. I think I just need to cut my hand more. Let go of it as you're doing it. Let it, let it yeah. pop to neutral, then across which to the right. And then when it goes to the right, make sure it hits that side wall next to your leg, so it doesn't go any further. Then push up. All right. So getting that speed up a bit more, then, Chris. Now, just being in your mirrors a bit more, seeing what's around and overtaking behind, etc. Similar behind us because we can overtake the lorries, aren't we? Uh, we, we signal and keep on. Okay, the course is gaining, isn't it? Right, so if you just ease off so we don't end up too close to the lorry, steer left though, Chris, because you're veering towards that centre. Steer left more. Steer left more. Okay, now we centre. I'm blind to my plans. Okay, cancel the signal. Come centre of your lane, Chris, let's sort that out first before we start doing this centre of this lane. Okay, let's just ease off. Let's just wait for these cars to pass. We really need to get that road position the same. Because what's going to happen is while you're checking, if you're already to the right of this lane, you're going to be kind of in that lane before you change the lane. Now, after this one, if you check your mirrors, get your toe down. What do you reckon? Look forwards again. See you. This one. That's it. Now, so we're going centre of this right hand lane and just looking ahead after the two lorries when do you think you'll be moving in do you think there's a suitable gap after the second lorry yes. and how would we know we've got suitable well that's changed things so we've got the blue golf now just be careful to keep an eye on your speed do 74 there to keep it 70 
bit more. It's got to be a bit more. So, if I was to, don't look at me and just watch me out your peripheral. If I was to demonstrate, I would be centre right glance, yeah. or left glance. You're looking in the areas you can see already, really. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's easy. Just ease off, so we don't have to break quickly through this faulty. Everything's happening quite quickly. Coming up quite quickly now. In the road positioning, keep asking yourself that question. And because we did, you've steered left and now you're centre. So keep it at 40. We did, yeah. Only briefly, and you've remembered it. I'm sure it was a brief one. What we'll do, we'll follow ahead for city centre. You can use you can use all three lanes, that's why I didn't say anything. And we'll just do a bit of a loop and is there anything you want to go over whilst we're stationary? Do you feel there's anything we haven't had time to go over properly that you don't quite get or is it a case of keep doing it in your mind? I think it's just the case of keep doing it. Yeah. <coughs> I think I'm up to date with everything I need to, needed to say. On reflection, do you think that signal would have benefited anyone? Probably not. No. Have a look if there's an exit road waiting for some cars waiting to come on, it might benefit some people. If not, 
see what I mean? Yeah. We're in this one's blind spot potentially here, so just be careful. You might cover your brake then rather than prioritise the gas, for example. Yeah. Anything close behind us, Chris, before we slow down? Yeah, fairly close. Okay. At least we know that now. Have we talked about braking and uh, making like a smooth braking technique where you sort of ease off the gas before you uh, yeah, sorry off the gas off the off the brakes as you as the wheels begin to stop only when we were like pulling into things I don't think we've mentioned it going okay fast do you want me to mention it next time so you can get your braking a bit smoother yeah, yeah. I think it was I saw the lights I was like oh <laughs> so I just kind of braked we've got quite a big gap here up between yeah. us and police car though you let the wheels roll to their own stop yeah it's the same as when you're pulling in isn't it just doing it at a quick speed just pop your on brake on while we wait sorry what did you say when so you're coming in what, what do you mean it's the same it's the same as if you were like pulling in how do I cancel that one? oh yeah when you're parking yeah of course it is yeah how do I cancel that one just press down once more but yeah, lanes are really narrow as we drive forwards here. So keep your eye on others in case they cock up with their positioning. Also keep an eye on where your middle lane actually is. Yeah. Get our eyes. 
is in that zone that's just beyond the sort of just at the side that we don't see. Yeah, so I didn't realise you wanted me to change lanes at that point. Oh right, sorry. That's I might not have made that clear. Because we've been talking about it, remember we were saying um, I should have we should have gone back in earlier, but we didn't. Yeah. Because it was on the bend and that, and then I said, well we wouldn't here because there's cars coming on anyway. Now we're going to get to the left, I think I said. Could be wrong but... <laughs> So when we go fourth to fifth, which we can do, yeah. let go of the gear stick when it goes to neutral, then make sure it hits that wall when it goes to the right.
the signs that you see ahead. Yeah, so if you...
that's it, you got it. Do you want me to keep reminding you with that brake? I think so, yeah, that'll yeah. help. I was just going to say, if you feel you've got it, I don't want to over instruct you or anything. But yeah, I'm happy to keep just giving you a few reminders. So where's the lorry from? Uh, where's that from? I know that. I think it's Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah. But the reason I ask, I'm not that bothered, but the reason I ask is he might not know where he's going. Yeah. So he could break unexpectedly. There is that potential. So we wouldn't ever want to get too close to him for that. There's another reason. Yeah. Speed limit then, Chris? 30 now. Okay, good.
obviously I'm blocking the driveway a bit. If you look over your shoulder, do yeah. you reckon? Yeah. yeah. You can pull away again if you when you're ready. No, oh, stop, 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 stop. stop. To pull away again is going to be a, in your mirrors and yeah. cancel the yeah. left signal first because because I mean we just the old roads are say something could whiz off turning and could be coming down quite quick. Yeah, you've got the left signal on. They don't expect you to move, and then you do. So I'll wait for this and then you get the all right. Then. There was one raised curb just here that would have been okay. But um, you drive past that one. Yeah, I didn't want to brake too quickly for that one. I get you, because there was a van behind. Do you could be um, doing something a bit more with your clutch as you're about to stop in at certain places? Do you think just using it more? I think just covering it, ready to use it. Because there's a slight time delay sometimes, have you noticed? Yeah, I brake first and then clutch in and it's a bit sudden. Yeah, and you do it, and you should be braking. You should be braking first and then you should be clutching, but it's becoming time for clutch. And then you then you get a bit of rumble, then you'll move your foot from the floor. Okay. So you want to feel like not even the rumble, the very beginnings of it. And the more driving you do, the more trained you'll you'll be and be able to identify that. Yeah. As soon as you experience, oh, that's time, clutch down. Whereas now, when you're feeling, oh, that's time, foot off the floor, cover the pedal, then press the pedal. And I think it causes a bit of harsh brake at the end, maybe. Yeah. You know, like that. Yeah. Just something to think about. <clears throat> Do you want me to remind you to cover your clutch? Yeah, just for a bit, until I get it in my head again. All right. Just want to catch up with what we said about, oh, sorry, with the carriage weights and everything. How are you yeah. feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. I um, think I just need to do it more, just get used to driving that quick and checking my surroundings. I think, like you say, road positioning, Try and work on that a lot more because that's really important. Yeah. Um, speed as well because I think it's important to stay, you know, a safe speed because a slow speed isn't a safe speed. So, yeah. Got to stay up to around the speed limit because otherwise it's quite dangerous for the drivers as well. That's it. So, if you do a lane change, then would you ease off as you change lanes to come back in or would you stay continual on your. Stay pedal? continual. Yeah. That's it. Did you? We've not had a proper chance to talk about it, but did, did you understand what happened early with that lorry? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think I could, as I was coming in, I just eased off <clears throat> almost without re realizing. Yeah. And then I checked. I was like, it was doing fifty-seven, and I was like, oh, so I needed to speed up a bit. Yeah, because them lorries are, I believe, they're limited to sixty. Yeah. So he he won't want to come off from doing sixty. No way. No. They, they, if you watch lorries, they don't like to come off that pedal at all, and they that's why. Stay at that speed. Yeah, that's why sometimes they drive like that close to each other, and then move out. It's dead dangerous. You yeah. can't have been trained to do that. No, I can't see it. No. But um, that's what happens. So yeah, he was starting to catch up with us quite rapidly. So yeah. it's not a problem in this car. We can soon get it going again, can't we? But. Um, but yeah, we don't want to cause that in the first place. So I think that makes sense, doesn't it, to you? You were right with all that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see why. All I want the other thing I want to, is there anything you want to ask me? Um uh, not really. <clears throat> it's going well on the whole, really well. So we only introduced this last week. Yeah. Really well. We've not done We've done a few slip roads. We'll look to do a few more. What do you think about driving into sort of Nottingham or do you want to keep it I don't, I don't mind that might be useful because it's going to be using um, lots of different systems so like you're always going to have this bus lane and a lane the left hand lane where it appears disappears yeah merges lots and lots of lights pedestrian crossings controlled crossroads mm. so there's lots of thinking lots of planning to do 
Um, and we're also driving to a destination, which could be, you know, it's always better if there's a, yeah. a proper reason for what we're doing. Should we have a look at that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, have we talked about mergers before? Um, we have, yeah, a couple of times. You feel alright with that? Yeah, it's just about obviously making sure that you're aware of the people around you. Um, and in theory, as long as you kind of stay, stay at the same speed, people know that it's going to merge. So everyone's going to try and work together, so it should be okay. But as long as you stay aware, it should be alright. Yeah, I think same again, like you said earlier, you might want to speed up to get a bit of clearance yeah, potentially, yeah. Before, between you and the one behind you. You might not be able to speed up because that's your limit. So in that case, we're going to hope that they ease off and give us some space. Yeah. can be a bit dangerous sometimes, but I think if you start, if you spot the merge early, how would you spot it early? Um, the road would start narrowing. Yeah. There'll also be a sign as well that kind of like gestures in. Can do. It can be... Sometimes a warning triangle would say the road's narrowing, yeah. <clears throat> but often these are when there's traffic calmers, but it could be signals on the road. There you go. But yeah. yeah. If you think somebody hasn't, or isn't, because you said people will know there's a merge, they might not. True, yeah. So if you think that they haven't seen it and they're going to try and undertake you or something or overtake you and you know that the road's running out and that's going to put you at risk, what could you give to, just to alert them that something's happening? Just a squeeze on the horn. Could do, but before that, if they're really close and they haven't seen you, but I would say, because that's going to make everybody look that is, so that could yeah. be potentially a, a bit risky. That's worse when it's really developing. I think just give an indicator. Yeah. Yeah, just to so let them know. Yeah. So if you're on the left and you're going to merge right, signal right. If you're on the right, you're going to merge left, signal left. So either way, it looks like you're doing a lane change and they're probably not going to drive on the inside of you then, or yeah. whatever. Bus lanes, can we ever drive in bus lanes? No. Ever? Uh, not sure actually on that one. We can, and as long as it's outside of the times of operation. Okay. So, you're going to see signs that tell you when the bus lane is in operation and when it's not. Okay. All right. A few learners around here, aren't there? Yeah, if you and but my, this is just what I do and take what you will from this. If I'm not local to an area, I'm not gonna be reading a sign on the move because I could misread that sign, drive through a bus lane and get most of them are camera now. Yeah. And they won't think twice about sending you a fine <laughs> for it. So in terms of driving through bus lanes, yeah, it's a good idea if, as long as you know your stuff and you're local to that yeah. area. I, I, I just know that the buses aren't running at that time. Yeah, I think bank holidays can make a difference sometimes. Um, think of the other things that could use bus lanes because you see, like them, we got in after the bus lane, didn't we? Yeah. When the bus lane ended to turn left at the roundabout, mm. it's important that none of your tyres cross any of that solid white line at all. Um, what all the what other things can use bus lanes legally all the time? Well, sometimes uh, they, it differs, but... Like emergency services? Yeah, they can drive through. What about other types of vehicles? Uh, any ideas? I'm not sure. So sometimes it can be cyclists can yeah. use them. Yeah. Sometimes motorbikes. I was going to say that, but I didn't know if it was allowed or not. I'll show you the sign that you'll see okay. for this. There you go, look. Bus lane and cycle lane. So sometimes you can have things like that. And sometimes you can have ones like that. Okay, yeah. So local buses use this bus lane and cyclists and taxis. So I see some. sometimes we'll come to the end of a road and we'll, we will turn left for a roundabout like that. There's one for the test, actually, and Pentagon roundabout. Yeah. When you come to the come down Chad, down Nottingham Road. Then if you're aware of that, and then you get in the left hand lane at the end, get on back onto the A52. Yes, yeah. But see, people change lanes, they don't do all the proper checks. They don't have the sideways glance there, but the, the threat's very real there. You've got bloody taxis coming down. I mean, yeah. <laughs> let's think about it. 
We know what taxi driving's like, generally, not all taxis, yeah. not all taxis. We're going to come across as well these signs today. Any ideas what these signs? I've never seen one of those. Diamonds. So when we go through Nottingham, we're going to see, we're going to be driving on tram lines, potentially. Okay. So I just want you to not get confused and start thinking that, because it might be a 20 year old, you see, but then you start driving at 30. I doubt you would, because... So that's for a tram? It's for trams, right. And vice versa, so trams don't think that... No, it's 30 or whatnot. If we see this sign, what we, what are we not going to do? Uh, not go down that route because it's just for trams. You've got it. Um, and if we see any of these hatched markings like this, what are we not going to do today? Yellow um, markings like that. Um, Which we might do in Nottingham. Stop over them. Yeah. Yeah. So leaving a gap between you and the vehicle before you get there will help you to plan and measure where you're going to stop. Because it's if the lights change and you're there, you'll stop somebody from turning the other way. I think that's all the main points really, just all the bits and bobs you need to know for going into there. Any questions or anything? No. I think what you showed me makes sense. Yeah. We just have to I'll just have to come across it. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. All right, Chris, when you're ready, we'll drive on. And there's paint starting to appear there. It's either a bend or a junction. More paint, more danger. Yeah. Can you see the white lines on yeah. the floor? So as we get a bit closer, we'll assess that. If it's a bend, we'll follow it round. If it's a left, if it's a junction, we'll turn left. Okay. signal flashing because you're not going to move off are you you're not going to pull, off, no. pull out in front of that car so in that case why does that car need to know uh, it doesn't need to know does it no well we didn't need to know then all it did was spook us yeah threw us off a bit so some instructors will teach you'll signal every time you move off regardless and i think that's i don't agree with it because you're relying more on the signal than actually keeping up state with what's around you and if you're actually going to move on. I've yeah. talked about that with you before. Yeah. I think it was when we were doing like down Cold Lane. Oh right, yeah, so early days, yeah. early on. If you'd have looked that way, you'd have gone because you'd be completely clued up with what's going yeah. on. I think the positioning. 
and soften it maybe a little as well with the curb. Yeah. Yeah, so keep yeah. keep that head scanning. When you as you approach the junctions, not even when you're at the lines, as you approach, you'll know what to do, where to position, etc. That way. So gonna turn right. The new limit for the new road is third. But it's third exit for us. Sorry, I said I was going to tell you that and I didn't. Sorry. So you see, we had quite a lot of rumbling before yeah. we stopped. Okay, just running past through my head then. I'm reminding you to ease off the brakes when we stop to get better smooth braking. Also reminding you to cover your clutch in those scenarios. Yeah, so it's not late. As well, or? yeah, I saw a car like squeeze around and I didn't really fancy that myself. No, because if you do that and the bus edges forward at the same time, yeah, it doesn't make room. It'll stop. And we saw that. Like, did you see the last passenger get on? Yeah, and there's nobody else that followed on, was there? So I think just start slowing down a bit earlier. Either way, it's going to help in your decision because you don't have more time to think about it. Yeah. Created space and then went want to move across. Yeah. So it's a full lane change then. In theory. Because the because you've allowed for a possibility if you like. Still on look, it's just below 1000. Okay, foot down a bit now, and actually come through the amber. Yeah. What happened on that? What it is, you're finding a really high bite just before you release your handbrake. You're finding a nice bite, and then when it turns to amber, you're going finding an even higher one. So when you release, go on. I just need to keep it down. You just need to keep it exactly where it was. Yeah. That's a, just a normal bite. Release the handbrake, then get the rest of the revs on, and then come up and feed it through and go. Because what's happening is you're finding the higher bite. The car wants to go while the handbrake's done. You take the handbrake off. The car's already surging forward. No, it's just jumping. It's jumping. Yeah. The bite's too high.
So that's how we can make that smoothness coming through doing that. They've only just started going. Should we put the handbrake on? Yeah. But remember, it's downhill anyway, so you're not going to find a massive bite here. Handbrake off. Handbrake off. Don't need to find that bite if it's downhill anyway, really. Just let's let it roll. Yeah. Do a what's called a rolling start. So looking at the road here then, what happens to this lane? Keep left, keep left, keep left, because you've not checked yet. Okay, and then we can merge. Only merge once you've checked. Once them eyes have been in that new space, then put your car in that space. Okay. Am I right in saying you haven't checked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to check, so I am aware that sometimes I might think you've not done something, actually you have. So the space and width of the lane now compared to the old road? It's a lot narrower. A lot, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got to be careful if the bus squeezes past and undertakes us, haven't we? We wouldn't want to be straight and left, would we, at the same time? Could these lights change? Anybody press the buttons? Potentially. Maybe we get it was there, though. Anything cutting us up last second as this road turns into the bus lane? Okay. So we're looking for those arrows. We can see the bus lane keeps starting, stopping, starting, stopping. So is it worth getting to the left here, do you think, or should we stay in the right? Stay based on what we've seen. Yeah. For now. Do you think we made the right decision? Yes. Bus lane again. Exactly. So just stay in the one we're in. Are these likely to change? He's just crossed. No, he's not on there. But he might have pressed the button though. Could have done, yeah. There could be a bite to it. Just worth thinking about. There's quite a lot going on now, isn't there? Yeah. Potential people that could cross the road on the side, on the book with the bikes. And the bus lane, wheelchair, accessible taxis, oh, yeah. bikes. Anything cut, gonna cut us up in this merge before we? Instruction, or am I talking too no, much? It's good because it is a lot busier, there's a lot more going on. Yeah, your speed's good as well, and sort of reasonable, really, for the, for the road. And this left hand lane, what's what could happen to this uh, so as we drive forwards past the bus? Yes, you could merge, you could merge. based on what we've been talking about, well done. Yeah, I don't think I could have really that came around quite quickly, shown right? you any yeah. quicker than that really, it's an awkward one. It's a bit tight, everything is. Um, how much did you know in your mirrors when you changed? You're sort of in between both really. Yeah. Are these, can you see anything in your mirrors in terms of the sirens? Okay, there we are. Any other emergent service coming through before we commit? No. Okay. This road is uh, narrow. Yeah, left only though as well. Left 
this one. Follow it round yeah. to the left, yeah. What type of road are we on from those blue signs? One way. Yeah. And what lane should we pick up for normal driving? Left hand lane. There's a cyclist coming down this cycle lane. Don't worry about your bike, just come off your brake. That's it. See what I mean? Yeah. Last cyclist check. Downhill, they pick up speed quite a bit there, haven't they, as well? Yeah. The thing is, some cyclists don't think about the danger, so we've got to think for them. Yeah, thinking for most of your life. Be looking for 
anything that tells you that you shouldn't do something like for example if you're going to turn right somewhere look and before you do is there anything that tells me I can't do this yeah do you know what I mean so I was pointing out oh can we go straight on at crossroads can we turn right there no we can't because of XYZ and your speed limit Chris 20 it's a whole different thing in it trying to stay yeah. in 20, especially on a, that you could consider it a fairly, it is quite a wide road, yeah. You see the lights ahead? Yes. I'm going to turn left there. Okay. So is there any reason that we can't turn left at these lights? Because the tram's coming out that way, I mean. No, there's no sign saying. Okay, no. then it should be fine then. Is it still going to be 20 in that new road? It'll be 30. Okay, well done. on while we wait. I do feel the need to say this to you every now and again. That's what we're looking for. Not too high on the old bite. <clears throat> All I'd try and do is not have your tyres bang smack on the metal bits I would here. Yeah. So Particularly if it's icy or whatnot. Yeah. Um, so the position you've took up is quite nice. You seem like you're doing a real good job with your smooth braking at the end and your clutch timing, getting it down without it rumbling. Yeah. Do you want me to? Do you want me to take? Do you want to take responsibility for that going forward? So? Yeah. I mean, I'm starting to get it more to the point where I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Well, you're seeing the benefits, I guess, aren't you? So yeah. that's going to keep. There's a diamond sign. signals a confirmation of your intentions but if you've not checked it's safe for your intentions yeah you might not if there's a cyclist there you might not want to signal and spook them it might not be safe to carry out what you can what you intend to do any for another reason yeah if you look in your right mirror now or the center what is it the side of the cyclist okay so so what we're going to do well they're going to go anyway by looks of it but there you go And you're alright with the crossroad format here as we turn right? Yes, yeah. Any more? Oh, you just checked that's on. Now we've just done a loop, I don't know if you remember what happened when we come round this corner. But oh yeah, that car should have stopped. We need to be in a position where we can give and hold back if we're it was really tight, wasn't it? It was really dangerous because if it's a truck coming, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. So, this speed's great. So, you have a chance now to look up that road and yeah, so clutch down first gear, handbrake on. Oh, you did a good job there, but try and be a bit quicker with your feet so you catch it and hold it still without the roll back. Yeah, I, I was trying, but I rolled back just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. considering I thought you did a good job. See where the van went with the right indicator look? Yeah. We're going to veer towards that side. Okay. So as we drive forward, we'll be the lead car here. Yeah. Okay, so we have to be, well, not, not too quick, but assertive with what we're doing. Yeah, and it's a one way road look, isn't it? See the white, uh, sorry, the uh, blue rectangle, yeah. upwards rectangle. So just check your mirrors anyway as we go forward, but as long as you as long as you get that position early, nothing should be on the right hand side or less chance of it being. Does that make sense? Yeah. It relates to what we talked about earlier, that roundabout. Um where you stalled with the handbrake just before then. Yeah. Where the road opened up. Yeah, that's a good example of it. 
So you're being defensive and definite with your driving position. Are we going to the right? To the right. It says we can't turn right, but that's a, that's an immediate right. So just follow it and position here, because actually it's ahead. Can you see? Ah, so you can't go right, but you can go ahead. Yeah. Right, yeah. Potentially a bit confusing as you're coming down, if you're unfamiliar with the area. Yeah. But yeah. So local knowledge always helps with stuff, to be honest. Which way are we going to be turning at the end? Right. Yeah. And why should we still signal even though it's one way? Why Just is to that? let people know. Yeah, mainly pedestrians and that really, because they could cross. And if you've got a choice of loads of lanes, yeah. Thank you. 